The man running the troubled Pritchard water system making his formal recommendation today about the long term governance of the utility. He says the best option would be for the Mobile Area Water and Sewer System to take it over. That's in a master plan he filed today with the court and the Alabama Department of Environmental Management. Foxen's Brendan Kirby has been following this story very closely. He's at the News Center now. Brendan, this is far from a done deal, though. Yeah, that's right, Shelby. First, it's still not clear that Moss is even willing to entertain the idea. And even if it is, it would require legislation and a referendum. In addition, many members of the court appointed citizens advisory panel say that they favor a state appointed board taking over. All this coming against the backdrop of a debt crisis. The receiver stopped paying investors in February. Moz is the best solution. Court receiver John S. Young Jr. says he analyzed more than 20 potential alternatives for the long term ownership and governance of the Pritchard Waterworks and Sewer Board. The best of those, he says, is for the Mobile Area Water and Sewer System to take it over. But it's still not clear that Moz is interested. The system that serves about 112,000 customers in Mobile County told me in a statement that its board has had no discussion concerning this matter at this time. That means Young could find himself back at the drawing board. He says he's been working with Moz's financial consultant to develop a financial model, rate study, and other detailed information about the Pritchard system. All that information is being put together to present to the Moz board so they can make an educated decision on whether they want to be part of the solution. The Pritchard utility, which provides water to residents of Pritchard and Chickasaw, has been plagued by a declining customer base, corruption allegations, deteriorating pipes, and financial woes. Young says Malls has the resources and expertise to make the financial and physical upgrades that it needs to overcome those problems. But the proposal isn't universally popular. Pritchard Water Board Chairman Russell Heidelberg, who's been fighting against Young's appointment, says he wants to consult with his attorney, but he tells me, quote, I am totally against it. Meanwhile, Citizens Advisory Council member Carletta Davis tells me that she and a majority of the members voted to recommend the creation of a board appointed by the state. Although the specifics would need to be worked out, she says it's important the system remains in the hands of the people of Pritchard. Pritchard, um, for all that it's worth, have uh, invested years, decades in its infrastructure, uh, and no other city just gives away their assets to another city uh, and the ownership and agency needs to remain with the citizens of Pritchard. Young is on the job because Synovus Bank, the bond trustee managing $55.78 million that the Pritchard water system borrowed in 2019, sued last year. It came after the system stopped making full payments to a fund used to pay the investors. Young says he's had many conversations explaining to Synovus Bank that he had to prioritize health and safety considerations over those bond payments. And while well, they're not happy about the situation, they understand the situation. As I mentioned, a mall's takeover would require a constitutional amendment approved by the voters. That happened about a decade ago, but malls backed away from that deal after what it termed a poison pill contract that the Water Board negotiated with a private management company that would have cost malls more than $32 million. Reporting live in the News Center, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.